This video will discuss how and why to conduct industry research in business using tools such as IBIS World and trade associations. Why is good industry research so important? Well, when people talk about understanding your industry, they might be thinking of any number of things, such as overall growth and size of the industry, which could be measured in sales, number of employees or number of institutions, changing regulations, high-level consumer preferences, trade issues such as import or export tariffs, supply chain challenges, standard financial operating ratios for their area of business, or much more. If you think about almost any business-related question, you can see how some of this information will be vital. UW-Whitewater Libraries subscribe to several databases for researching industries. IBIS World is our best resource for an overview of a specific industry. It has reports for every NAICS code industry in the United States. If you have questions about NAICS codes and how they identify industries, please watch the Finding Industry Codes video. When I do a search for craft beer, I might see several reports with very similar names, because IBIS has multiple types of reports. See, for example, there is a specialized industry and a specialized eye expert report on craft beer production, and then some major industry reports like this one on bars and nightclubs. On the left, you can limit to global or international industry reports, as well as state reports for the largest industries by GDP in a particular state. When I open the craft beer production report, notice the recent date and the report number. This number isn't in NAICS code because craft beer doesn't have its own NAICS code. The companies would just fall underneath the code for breweries, but IBIS has created a specialized report for this niche industry. The first page of the report provides a great overview of the whole industry. The supply chain chart shows what are major external drivers, who supplies to this industry, and who purchases from them. Further down, I can see who the major players are, the primary activities, products, and services of this industry, other related industries, and more. For a lot of your projects, especially entrepreneurial ventures or very niche industries, IBIS may not have just one industry report that fits perfectly. You may need to look at two or three related ones and draw your own conclusions. You may also consider checking out the industries above or below you in the supply chain to see what issues are affecting your primary suppliers, for example. Or if your company is B2B, then you can do research on your customers by checking the buyers from your industry. Be sure to scroll down on the first page until you reach this little section under Additional Resources. It's easy to miss, but it's a very important part of industry research. This section lists relevant industry associations, which are organizations of companies in this industry. In this industry, lots of small brewers have joined together to form organizations such as the Brewers Association, Beer Institute, or the American Home Brewers Association. Each might have a slightly different focus. But in all industry associations, by using the power of their combined hundreds or thousands of members and their collective membership fees, they can do things of interest to their members. Things like fund research into best practices for homebrewing, publicize current safety guidelines, advocate in Washington, D.C. for laws favorable to independent brewers, or collect statistics about the condition of small breweries in various states and regions. Some trade associations also publish trade journals or magazines, either online or in print. Every single industry will have at least one, and probably many, trade associations. Start by checking the ones in IBIS World, but also go to Google and try some different Google searches to find other, smaller associations. Try a wide variety of search terms with trade association in quotation marks like this to find those words as a phrase. As you can see by my search here, I'm seeing some of the ones I found from IBIS World, like the Brewers Association, but also some new ones such as craftbeer.com, and sometimes even ones for a certain region or state, like this one for California craft beer. Spend some time exploring these trade association sites. You can gather lots of valuable information and save time by using what they have collected. Some of it will be available only to fee-paying members, but you can usually get some information for free. If the trade association publishes a trade journal, such as this one, the new brewer from the Brewers Association, those are usually subscription only and chock full of useful industry insights. Be sure to check in our library journal search to see if we subscribe to it. Some are included in our subscriptions. Let's go back to IBIS World. Use the tabs along the left of the report to get more in-depth information about the industry. For instance, if I want to know the current performance or predicted future performance for the next five years, check out the industry performance or industry outlook sections. If I'm an entrepreneur and want to know the capital intensity or how much money I need to start and run this type of business, click on the Operating Conditions or Key Statistics tabs. If I want to determine who the primary companies in the industry are and what their market share is, click the Major Companies tab to see any companies with over 5% of the market share in this industry. 
Here, there are two, but in some industries there will be no major players listed, instead just saying other. This means that the industry is primarily made up of lots of small, privately owned businesses. I can also see key competitive issues in the Competitive Landscape tab, where they discuss things like concentration, import or export activity, and barriers to entry. At the top of any report pages, use this download button to save the PDF, use this search within box to quickly find specific text within the document, feel free to use any of the great graphics and charts in IBIS World in your projects and presentations, just be sure to cite your sources. You'll need to note the author, date, title, and report number up here in order to create your citation. Here's a correct citation for this craft beer report. Use this one as a model to cite yours. If you're considering using the citation created by Citation Machine or other similar tools on the internet, be aware that their citations are usually completely wrong for most business databases. Don't hesitate to contact your business librarian or anyone at the library with any questions. We're happy to help.